Folks, you know my next guest from Californication, Louie, and as the voice of Bobby on King of the Hill, she's now the creator of her own show, Better Things. Mom, where are you going? Bitch, I'm going to the moon. Oh my God, Mom, that's so offensive. I'm so fat. Can't believe I have a boyfriend. Well, he's staying with us. Stay with us what? Susie. Mom, no way. Wait, where are you going? She's going to the moon, bitch. Shut up, Frankie. Mom, we don't need Susie. I can watch everyone. No. Mom, don't leave us with Susie. She sucks. And don't leave us with Max. She's so much worse. Fine. Then no one's coming. I don't care. Can I have a couple friends over? Not a party. I don't care. Run away while I'm gone. I don't care about any of it. There's nothing in this house that's worth anything to me except the art. Don't mess with my painting. Please welcome Pamela Adlon. Come on, Pamela. Hi, nice you. to see you again. Hi, false start. We uh, met briefly at the Emmys the other night. I was out in the, doing a bit with Jimmy Kimmel, and you were yes. sitting there with Louie, yes. who's the co-creator of the show with you. That's that, right. That, um, now, here's the strange thing. I know you were nominated, and I was the host. <laughs> yes. But I was backstage dealing with some business. I, I didn't actually see every category, and I know this is a crazy question, but did you win I didn't win. win. Okay, no. I didn't know whether you won <laughs> or not. But congratulations. I did anyway, not that's still win. lovely to be nominated. Um, yeah. It was... <laughs> That's lovely. Um, yeah, it was kind of weird. And then I was just, like, reading all this stuff. It's like, who will unseat Julia Louis-Dreyfus? And I was like, can it just be a normal Emmys? Can I be nominated and everybody be nominated normally? But she, like, had won no. five times. Right. No, it's the so, Highlander. There can be only one. That's right. So I But just, you don't need an Emmy. You got a Peabody this year. I do. Congratulations. I did, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. much cooler than an Emmy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like smart people think my show is important. Right, kind right. It's a much more exclusive yeah, club. Yeah. Now, uh, you've been working, I found out, since you were 12 years old in show yes, business. Yes, yes. You, are you one of those people who was lucky enough where basically they started working and they just did show business, or did you have to do the... No, I didn't just do show business. Okay. I mean, I, you know, my dad and mom were always workers, and they instilled a work ethic in us. Were they in show in business? Us. My father was a writer and a producer. Okay. Um, my mother, my mother did every other kind of job, you know, um, to support us. Bricklayer. Um, she was a travel agent, mm -hmm. and she worked for a composer, and she worked for a publishing company. And uh, my father would get odd jobs writing like softcore porn and dime store novels and things like oh, that. Oh, really? Any you know, just like anything I would know. Things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Super Doll and Turn the Other Cheek, things like that. <laughs> anyway, true story. It's not. Turn the other sheik. Is that softcore porn with like an Arab sheik? Yes! Did you read it? No. <laughs> How do you know? Do you have a copy? Very good. Very good. I, have a first, yeah. I have a first edition. Okay. Okay, so what did you do? How did, what did you do to get by? Well, um, you know, very young, I, I started working and then. I, you know, the job stopped happening, so I just took any job. I worked in retail. I worked at clothing stores. I handed out flyers for the New York Pops. I uh, worked in a flower store. Anything. I, I just, I like to make money. It was important. Sure, you got three kids. You're a single mom raising three kids. I do. I have three daughters. This is the second season of yes. Better Things, and you're a single mom raising three kids in that. That's is right. it entirely autobiographical? Like, do your kids' behaviors show up? in the show? Because I have three children, and I've worked very hard not to put them in my work yeah. for fear that they will, what's the word, hate me. Yes. Well, so what, what is, what, do, you, do you steal their what lives? What is this word, hate? Um, you know, I don't, I don't cannibalize every aspect. You know, um, season one is certainly more expositional, and I'm telling the story, like, the bones of my life, but it's just, it's fleshed out beyond. But, I mean, they look at it, they're like, Mom, that's me. You know, I'm like, dude, it's not you. That's a story that happened to me when I was in middle school. No, Mom, remember when I told you I went into the boys' room? I'm like, no, dude, that is my life. So, anyway. Just say to them, I mean, my work is universal. That's right. <laughs>
Um, uh, is the show all consuming? Because you create it, you direct it, you write it. Do you have time for anything else? Like when you were creating the show, was it just like everything else out of my life, only this? Um, I kind of put it off for a while because I, I'm, you know, I'm raising my daughters and I'm working. I was working on Californication and Louie sure. at the time. I was trying to come up with the concept for the show, and also I had to finish watching Breaking Bad because I was, <laughs> I was binge watching it, and it was killing me because the finale was coming, and I was like, I can't open my computer because the internet's going to ruin it for me. So I was just like, I mean, I was going cross-eyed. I wasn't writing. I wasn't taking care of my children. <laughs> I was trying to finish watching Breaking Bad. And then... Did you make Thank it? Thank you. Did you make it before... No. Somebody spoiled no, it? No, I opened it. I'm not even going to say what happened because I hate it when people spoil things, even if things are known. Eventually, Walter White throws the ring into the cracks of doom. See? And... <laughs> so, but somebody spoiled I, it for you? No, I opened the computer and then there was a picture of the thing that told me what happened on the internet and it, when I went, oh, so I was upset. Well, that's terrible. I know. That's terrible. But then I started working on my show, so All right. now I have a show. <laughs> you, know how, you know how the Bible ends, right? No, I don't want you to tell me. I don't want you to tell me. I swear to God. I swear to it's God. It's got a happy ending. It's no, got a very I happy know, ending. No, I know, but when, when people <laughs> tell me stories of mm -hmm. things that, you know, a lot of people know about, like the Bible, mm -hmm. and they say, oh, he got killed by her, and I'm like, don't tell well, me you're ruining doing? it. At because the end of it, when the Romans I come, Jesus has a machine gun in his trunk, he and he just wipes them all out. <laughs> And he throws the rings into Ex exactly. the thing. Yeah. It's lovely to meet you. Thank, Thank you so you much for so being much here. For Congratulations on the new series, the second series. <laughs> Better Things, season two, airs Thursdays on FX. Pamela Adlon, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by The Killers.